In markedit, one of the new functions added to um, the five-point do version of markedit has been the ability to export and import your local functions, uh, your, your local configuration settings. In a previous video, uh, I demonstrated how you would export your local configuration settings and what options you have for export. In this video, we'll show how the import process works. In markedit, um, the import process, essentially you select file, share configuration settings, and import settings. Now when you select that, you will get an option here that allows you to um, select the file that you wish to import. In mark edit, files marked dot export are the files that you would import. Um, it's simply an export file that's wrapped together all of the information that you've asked to export. So you would essentially select this file, click open, and the import process would begin and all of the information currently um, stored in your export packet would be imported into MarkEdit. Now something important to note, uh, when you import um, a set of shared configuration file data, this is a, this is a replacement. This, this doesn't merge those configuration settings with your current local config files. This actually replaces your current local configuration information with the shared files that have been um, that you're importing. So if you have um, macros uh, and tasks defined locally, um, if you import another person's local tasks and macros, um, it'll overwrite uh, your local settings. Um, so if so, ideally this function is going to be useful for people in a shared environment where you have one person. Um, who's created a um, uh, essentially an office uh, configuration setup uh, with tasks and macros and whatnot, um, and this would give them the ability to export those uh, pieces of information as a shared office-wide configuration policy, and then they could be imported in um, around the, uh, the office. If you have any questions, don't uh, feel free to contact myself or the listener.